Hello and welcome to today's science video. Can you tell me what is matter? No, not what's the matter. I'm not asking what's wrong or why you're sad. I mean, what is matter? You know what? I think it'll go smoother if I do the explaining. For today's video, we will cover two topics. First, we will discuss what is matter. Second, we will discuss what matter is made from and how to represent this as a model. Teachers, a link to a printable worksheet will be placed in the video description and is free to use. There will also be a link to an ed puzzle if you want this video to become a self-grading formative assessment. Let's get started. First, let's talk about matter. Matter is anything physically touchable. Things like a television, the air, plants, and animals are matter. Even the moon and all the planets are matter. Things like light, sound, and fire are not touchable and therefore are not made from matter. Confused? Here is a simple way to tell if something is matter. If you can hold it in your hand, it's matter. You can't hold light or sound, so they aren't matter. You can hold something that is burning, but you can't physically grab a flame. So fire isn't matter either. Meanwhile, you can hold a TV, a plant, or an animal. Even air can be held. Just wave your hand around and you'll feel the air in your palm. The moon is matter too. Just because you haven't touched the moon doesn't mean it can't be touched. It could be touched if you travel to it. So before we move on, let's take a quick moment to review. Which of these is an example of matter? A. Fire B. Air C. Sound D. Light The correct answer is air. Before we continue with the video, please support the channel by leaving a like and considering subscribing. Likes help other people find this video, allowing the learning to spread. Thank you. Now that we know that anything that can be touched is considered matter, let's discuss what matter is made from. Everything that we can touch is made from a teeny tiny particle. A particle is something that is a small part of a larger substance. For example, a single grain of sand is a particle of a sand castle. The particles that make up matter are called atoms. Atoms look like what you see on the screen and are the building blocks of all matter. Just like how bricks are needed to build a wall, atoms are needed to create anything that we can touch. Atoms are incredibly small. They're so small that trillions of atoms can fit on the point of a pen. The more atoms that are together, the more matter you will have. A pen tip might be made of trillions of atoms, but the entire pen will be made from numbers even larger than that. They combine or mix together to build all matter. So to recap, atoms are the building blocks of blank. A. Walls B. Bricks C. Matter D. Pens. The correct answer is matter. Now, how do we represent an atom when we build a model of one? Believe it or not, making a model is very easy. All you need to know is where all the parts of the atom go. An atom is made of two zones. The inside zone is called the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, you will find protons and neutrons. The number of protons will determine what type of atom you have. One with seven protons is a nitrogen atom. One with two protons is a helium atom. On the outside of the atom is a zone called the electron cloud. If a rain cloud has rain in it, then an electron cloud has something called electrons inside it. The number of electrons an atom has will be the same as the number of protons it has. So a helium atom will have both two electrons and two protons. 
Before we talk about building models, can you remember what are the two zones of an atom called? Select two answers. A. Electrons. B. Electron cloud. C. Nucleus. D. Neutrons. The correct answers are electron cloud and nucleus. Now that we know about the zones of an atom, we can draw a model of one. To draw an atomic model, all you have to do is put the protons in the center along with the neutrons, and then finally put the electrons in the electron cloud. Let's build one together. First, I am going to place the two protons for the helium atom in the nucleus. Next, I will do the same for the neutrons. Lastly, I will place the electrons on the outer line. That line represents the electron cloud. And just like that, I've built my own model. You can pause the video and try to build your own. Alright guys, let's review and recap what we discussed today. First, matter is anything that can be touched. This includes things like plants, animals, desks, and even the air. Atoms are the building blocks of matter. In order to get anything that is touchable, it needs to be made from atoms. Atoms have two zones. The inner zone is called the nucleus. The outer zone is called the electron cloud. The nucleus contains protons and neutrons. The electron cloud contains the electrons. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot today. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to have more educational videos like this and don't forget to leave a like and share this so that other people like you can see the video. Thank you and see you next time. Goodbye.